Hello and welcome, my name is Eric Lanches, and we're going to be talking about the most important part of your page for SEO. So if you're all about those Google rankings, you want to be at the top of Google, this is for you. We're going to be talking about the main content. So the, according to Google's manual reviewer guidelines, they break down the page into different sections. Um, in the manual reviewer guidelines, they're talking about main content, supplementary content, advertisement. So those are kind of like the three sections that they want the manual reviewers to identify uh, in order to understand the purpose of the web page and do their job properly. Now, Google breaks down things slightly differently where they have, uh, they're, they're a bit more granular in the way they break down the main content, supplementary content and so forth. But this gives us a really good idea of what we will need to pay attention to as SEOs. So um, main content essentially is typically, is typically going to be the primary article whatever the information of the page is, essentially the main target. Supplementary content is defined as essentially the sidebar, the footer, the header, everything that is not the main content. And then of course, ads are, you know, the advertisement. So that's kind of how Google breaks it down inside the manual reviewer guidelines. And now we're going to go over a couple of examples of what they show inside the manual reviewer guidelines. So um, Google wants people to pay attention to, wants uh, essentially pays attention to when they're trying to rank a page, this main content pay, uh, portion right here. So for an e-commerce page, it's slightly different than from, for instance, a video page that we'll see in a second. So for an e-commerce page, um, they're paying attention to the title, the images, the uh, in things like even like the uh, detail stats, the reviews, the shipping information, and so forth. So that's kind of interesting. The things behind the tabs, they're paying attention to, and they're ignoring things such as the header, the sidebar, the footer, and so forth. So this is important to know as a search engine optimizer, if you want to rank on Google, you need to be aware that this is the main content that they're paying attention to. Now, a lot of people are already aware, and maybe you're listening to this and you're like, yeah, of course, it pays attention to the main content. However, it actually goes a bit deeper because sometimes uh, Google will declare some things the main content and not others. So check this out. Um, here for an article, like a blog post, the main content is it's, gonna, it's fairly obvious, right? It's going to be the top. It's going to be the image at the top. It's going to be the header. It's going to be the main content, but it is not the sidebar. It is not the header here. It is not the navigational, like the recommended uh, articles at the bottom. It's just going to be this. Now for a video, like a YouTube video, it's going to be the video and it's going to be the top part here. Now, I'm not sure if they changed this since then to include a description or not. I've seen a pretty good results with the description, but that's kind of what they're, this is straight from the manual reviewers guideline. Um, th this is like straight from Google in terms of main content. So that's kind of cool. Very interesting. Um, let's d keep on diving in. Uh, in the manual review guidelines, they say that the quality of the main content plays a very large role in the page quality rating. So essentially main content is a very, very large role of, you know, the overall objective of Google of like how it's going to evaluate your page and ultimately rank your page online. Let's dive into what this means for SEOs and how you could actually leverage this to do better SEO to rank better on Google and just get better results. So main content, the first thing you need to know, there's actually two main things is that one, you need to make sure it's clearly laid out not just for humans, but for robots, especially the Google robot and the Google uh, algorithm. Now, you don't want it to mistakenly uh, omit content because it thinks it's a footer or a sidebar or an advertisement or so forth. And sometimes non-standard design, sometimes you, when you're using block editors, it, it can actually get pretty tricky and sometimes it could confuse search engines. Now, search engines are amazing at figuring out what uh, the main content is. They've, they've invested millions of dollars into it, I'm sure. Um, however, you still want to make it as easy as possible for them in order to get the best ranking results. What do I mean by that? Well, take this page right here. Let's take this page and we could break it down. This page could actually be really confusing for search engines. Let me show you why. At the top right here, um, you have two columns. So now two columns of text is this left column is probably this is for sure going to be main content, right? But on the right hand side here, is this advertisement? Are these sponsored links? Is this also part of the main content? The search engine al algorithm has to make a decision and it might be right and it might be wrong. So sometimes having two columns of text like this, if they're both main content, sometimes Google will just flat out ignore the right hand side or sometimes you want it to pay attention to it. It'll, it won't and so forth. It's very confusing. Even the humans, we're not sure if this is main content. 
the next thing is there's a there's a, a trend a trend going on and sometimes people like to put a full width block bar here now is that an indication that the section is done like it's just this part and then that's kind of like done right it's a different section or is that just a subheadline and the article continues or the content continues it's, it's hard to know right it's hard to know for humans it's very hard to know for algorithms as well so if for instance, uh, an algorithm decides that, okay, this is your, your end, this is your footer, then it won't count all the content that you might have at the bottom, right? So that's kind of one of the things you need to be uh, cognizant of as an SEO whenever you're building out a page. Now, uh, algorithms might get it right, and they might not. Uh, next thing is if when you're going back, if you ha he had two columns here, and then you have two columns here again, is this now advertisement or is this main content, right? How does it distinguish that at the top you might have two, two columns and then at the bottom you might only have one single column? Um, how does it determine what your main content is? So I just kind of want to illustrate that having a, a page, it could sometimes look very natural. Humans may be very obvious, but to, to, to robots, to algorithms, it might be quite tricky to kind of get it right. And it's essential because Google ranks your main content. So if you get this wrong and you're not showing your main content to Google or it's picking up like your advertisements, you're going to um, essentially shoot yourself in the foot. It's gonna make it a lot harder for you to rank. One of the um, solutions, I guess, and one of the just the easier ways of doing it is to use a more standard web design. Now, I know they're sometimes not as exciting, right? Having a standard web design is not as exciting, but because it's standard and the, the engines are coded for it, it makes it a lot more likely that they'll be able to recognize your main content. So if you just have all your main content, like everyone else, then it helps you avoid issues. And at least, um, even if it's not as exciting, at least you'll know that it's ranking the right thing when it comes to uh, evaluating your content. All right, cool. Now that we have that out of the way, the next thing is ultimately when you are optimizing, you wanna optimize your main content. So uh, what I recommend everyone does is actually use a main content optimizer so you can focus on tweaking your words, putting the right amount of images, tweaking your subheadlines to perfection. What you essentially want to avoid is going to be uh, content optimizers that include advertisement, footers, headers, and navigation links because those could lead to incorrect results. So if you're using a content optimizer, I recommend you use something like onpage.ai because that one focuses on main content. Essentially, on page.ai will go to all the top pages, all the competition. It'll essentially focus on the main content from competitor one, main content, competitor two, main content, competitor three. Essentially, it mimics Google. It does exactly like Google does, and it looks at the main content and returns the information that you need to rank from those. It ignores the ads, it ignores all the other misleading information and it'll return the, essentially the Google entities, the entities that you can add to your page to increase relevance. So you could actually put in your keyword, um, scan for whatever you want, it'll return all the entities and you add it to your page and then your page increases in relevance. And ultimately Google wants to return the most relevant page for the query. So um, you could actually visit onpage.ai and register for free. Um, with onpage.ai, you could actually uncover the secrets to ranking for your most profitable keywords. It's so easy to do. You put in your keyword, you could like even compare your URL if you want, and then it'll return all the most relevant terms looking at the main content. Um, and then you, what I recommend people do is add the first two, three rows of words that are returns. This will increase your relevant the relevance of your page for that term. And if you wanna go crazy, you wanna get those rankings, you just add uh, row number four, five, and even six, and just get it all green, right? So get all, all the most relevant terms on your page. And when the artificial intelligence from Google comes back and crawls your page, it'll say like, oh wow, all the terms that I expect to see are there. This must be a highly relevant page for that term. <laughs> and that's when you profit. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below, check out onpage.ai and um, I will talk to you soon. So take care guys.